Welcome to Tips and Tricks series on SUSE for SAP. In this video, I'm going to discuss about SUSE Linux Enterprise Live Patching and demonstrate on how to apply a KGraph patch to a SUSE Linux kernel without a reboot. What is SUSE Live Patching? Live Patching is patching your existing kernel without a reboot. The result of this activity is to improve the general availability and of course run your systems until the next maintenance window. SUSE Live Patching is a paid offering delivered for a given kernel version and it is targeted to address CVE scores 6 or above as well as severe system instability or data corruption. The technology behind Live Patching is based on KGraft which is an open source project and of course developed by SUSE Labs. KGraph patches are delivered as kernel module packages and they can be managed by RPM, Zipper, YAST and of course using SUSE Manager. By installing a KGraph patch, the patch module is automatically loaded immediately. Besides that, the init RD will be recreated automatically so that this patch module will be loaded at the next reboot. SUSE Linux Enterprise Live Patching improves business continuity and saves costs by reducing downtimes, increasing service availability, and of course enhancing security and compliance. Why we need live patching? Some of the business and use cases are systems that are running with in-memory databases like SAP HANA, mission-critical infrastructure services, uninterrupted simulation projects, and of course, massive time de critical deployments. Next, we'll look at a demo on how to apply a KGraph patch for a particular exploit. In this case, SOC underscore DIAG underscore exploit. You can find more details with regard to this exploit on the given URL. Let's look at the kernel version of this system. So the kernel version of the system is 3.12.37-27-default. And you can also see there is a tag between these two brackets. I have already loaded the, the repositories needed, so you need to have your own uh, a subscription to enable the SUSE Linux live patch into your system. So I have enabled the, the repository for, to the system. Next look at whether we have installed the, the exploit. So the exploit name is SOC underscore DIAG underscore exploit. As you can see, I have installed the exploit and you can find the CVE details under summary. Now, what, what does this exploit do? So basically, if you log as a, a, a regular user and if you run this exploit, you will be given privilege access to the system like this. So the normal user in this case as tux when you run this exploit, you, you will have privileged access to the system. Let's see how we can apply the KGraph patch to overcome or avoid this exploit. I will log in as root to the system. And now I will check about the KGraph patch. So when you type zipper, space se or search space kgraph you will see the kgraph tool and of course the kgraph patch itself in this case kgraph dash patch dash 3 underscore 12 underscore 37 dash 27 dash default so this is the kernel version of the current system and this is the kgraph patch related to the current kernel version 
So now I'm going to install this KGraph patch. I'll type as zipper install or in and the patch name. As you can see, there are two new items that's going to be installing into the system. KGraph, which is the tool, and of course, KGraph patch that we want to install to this system. So say yes and continue. Now the KGraph patch will be loading into the system and it will update the init RD as well so that in within the next boot everything will get applied as well but in this case we don't need to do a reboot because this is the whole the activity is all part of of live patching so if i run zipper se to create graph or zipper search k graph i can see both the tool and the patch being installed Let's run the exploit and see what happens now after we ran the patch. So I will log out from the root user and then run again the exploit. It doesn't work. So the so live patching has worked in this case. We didn't have to reboot the system. Um, so we, did, we can maintain this patch until the next maintenance window. So I will run sudo command to be the root user again and I will show you the command that I type to install the kgraph patch. All you need to do is zipper space in or install space kgraph patch with related to your current kernel version and, and type enter. In summary, uh, we discussed what SUSE Live Patching is all about and we went through a demonstration on how to apply a KGraph patch using Zipper, how to list the KGraph patches available using Zipper and um, and how it will work for a system where you don't need to run to a reboot even though there's an exploit within your system. So the live patching is built on established kernel infrastructure and tools and this has been on the market since 2015. Um, the whole idea of so the live patching is to reduce downtime while ensuring system integrity and of course one step towards zero downtime. Thank you for listening to me. We'll come back with another video on Septio. Thank you.